So today we'll be talking about CPAP. CPAP stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. What this means is that we have a machine and this machine creates pressure through a hose and that hose will have a mask which is attached to your face and that will cause positive airway pressure. Who needs a CPAP? Obstructive sleep apnea. Always remember that. In obstructive sleep apnea, at night when you sleep, all the systems are relaxing and your oropharyngeal muscles are relaxing too. And that might lead to collapse of the muscles or even your tongue might fall backwards. If that happens, your airway will close and the patients will end up snoring at night and whatever sleep they have during the night is basically no sleep. They are not getting um, uh, relaxed. Your brain is still functioning and your brain is fighting because your oxygen is dropping at night. How does the CPAP work? Basically, when you breathe to normal air, your lungs have to cause a negative pressure so that air will come in. But if you have sleep apnea, your muscles in the upper air airways will collapse. So when you use a CPAP, you're basically making sure that there is positive pressure into the airway and that will keep your airways open rather than closed and that will make air entry easier. Now, things that you have to know about the CPAP machine. You have to do a sleep study to get that. You gotta wear the CPAP for six to eight hours per night. So that you will have the maximal uh, benefit you will have to make sure that there's a closed system and what i mean by that is that you don't want to see any leak of air because otherwise air will be leaking from around the mask and you will not get the enough pressure that you need also pressure in cpap is measured by centimeters of water so patients would tell you I'm on 5, 10 or 15, whatever. What they mean is that this is the pressure setting that they are using. If you want to look at it in terms of a graph and just to understand what happens while you're using CPAP machine. This is going to be pressure and this is time. Using a CPAP machine, you will have a constant positive airway pressure. Let's say that your settings are 10. So your pressure would remain the same. Even though you're taking a deep breath in and out, the pressure that is given by this machine will remain the same all the time. Other than the fact that it makes your airway especially the uh, upper airways, it keeps them open. It also makes sure that your alveoli are also open and it prevents them from collapsing. This is very important because if alveoli collapse, it's going to make it more difficult for the patient to take a stronger deep breath to make sure that there's air exchange but if you're using a CPAP machine you will make sure that your alveoli are still open they are not collapsed and that will make make it more easier to have adequate ventilation other diagnosis where a CPAP might work if you have someone with heart failure and they are coming in with a picture of pulmonary edema 
you're going to say, I'm going to need to give them Blazix. So as I can diurese them. If you want to augment your diuresis, you can use a CPAP. And what that does, if you have alveoli like this, and you have a patient with pulmonary edema, his alveoli would be just soaked in water. So what the CPAP does is that it will cause positive pressure over here where water starts getting out of the alveoli and back into the blood system. And this is how patients with heart failure, once you diurese them, if you add the CPAP, they will feel a lot more comfortable because you're getting rid of all of this water in their alveolar membranes and pushing it back into their blood system. So you can ask me, okay, why I can't give nasal cannula? To someone with uh, sleep apnea or someone with heart failure well you can but the thing is nasal cannula there is no pressure or the pressure is too low to do anything it's too low to push air in so it's just like slowly flow flowing of air and also remember in the nasal cannula if this is your nose, nasal cannula will be just like this and like that. Well, guess what? There's a lot of leakage around your nose. While CPAP machine and CPAP apparatus, usually when someone is sick in the hospital, they have a full mask that is just around your whole face. If you're sleeping at night, there are masks which are just for your nose and recently they have created this great um, apparatus which is called nasal pillows which are literally just over your nose and they create a good seal where there will be no leakage outside and this is how you would use a CPAP machine where you have a closed system and that closed system will make sure that there is no air leak and you will imp improve um, um, alveolar work by preventing them to collapse. Thank you for watching.